Hello everyone! So, today is a video I wanted to put out for Shige's birthday, but here we are in August. So, this is going to be my official Kato Shigeaki solo song ranking. Yay! Nobody asked this, but I'm just going to give you guys my ranking of Shige's solos because I love Shige and I love his solos. Hmm, most of them. Um, but I just thought I would tell you which ones are my favorite, essentially, um, and how they stack up against the rest of them. I um, have come up with a few rules for this. Um, so it's only going to be solos that have been released um, or performed in some sort of way um, that I, as somebody who cannot go to concerts, have been able to see. So he has a few, um, I think there are two, like, pre-2007 solos that he performed that um, don't really have a release. Um, there's no, like, audio recording of it, and I don't think they're on any sort of DVD. Um, it's, he has Sneaker Blues, which is a Kondo Masahiko um, cover anyway, and Survival, which I don't know if it's an original solo for him. Um, it might be, like, a cover of something else. So the two I know, the Wikipedia says that Survival is on a DVD, but I think I have that DVD and I don't remember that on there. So the only like recent solo that is not on here is Sekai, which is the solo from Worldista. And since there's no performance for it, which um, does come into play in kind of my ranking, um, I'm, I can't really give it a fair, fair ranking just yet because Definitely a lot of um, the appeal of Shige's solos are his performances of them, so um, I think it just wouldn't be fair. I love Sekai so much. Like, it's very good. It's, like, definitely towards the top, but I think at this point, since we don't have the World Ista DVD yet, I'm not going to include it. Also, um, don't get mad at me. <laughs> These are my personal opinions, and, um... If you have a personal opinion or I say something bad about a song that you don't like, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, but these are just my opinions. Um, I am definitely, like, a uh, number one Shige fan. I love him so much. I've been around news fandom for a long time. I've been a fan for 12 or 13 years or something like that. Um, so I really, I really liked seeing, like, Shige, like, grow and kind of, like, become, like, this artist that he is. And um, that's something that I really love love about Shige is that, like, his stuff is, like, really is, like, art, um, in the performance aspect of it and in, um, kind of the lyrics for it. I'm gonna start from the bottom and then go to my favorite. He has nine released solos, and so number nine is, um, the solo he performed at their comeback tour in 2012, and is, I'm gonna butcher this name, but Vampire Wa Kaku Kata, uh, Japanese. Kaku kata riki, something like that. It's the vampire song. I hate the vampire song so much. It's so weird. <sighs> the performance is weird. Uh, the song is weird. There's like a lot of rapping, which like I think like Shige says he's not good at it, but I think he kind of is. Um, but like there's, it's just a weird song. It makes me feel weird. The lyrics are like. <laughs> Sometimes Shige can be a little pretentious, and the lyrics are a little bit pretentious. It's like a vampire story, but it has all these, like, references to, like, vampire stuff. And I'm just, like, I just can't with this song. Like, at all. Like, I don't even think it's in my iTunes, because I just can't listen to it. Number eight is Kakao, which I think a lot of people really, really love. But I have just always not liked this song at all. It's like a weird jazzy song and I will say that his performance of it like uh, sort of recently on Shonen Club Premium with with the heels and the chocolate that was very very good very very good <laughs> um but I still don't really like the song that much um the original performance in 2007 I'm not I wasn't a fan of the outfit and the whole like staging of it it just I didn't, I didn't like it that much, um, so I don't really like listening to this song, um, it just seems kind of, I don't know, there's, me and Kakao have a very strange, uh, relationship, so, um, it's down there. I actually, for a while, didn't think that there was gonna be a song that beat Kakao, but, um, the vampire song beat it, um, 
as my least favorite solo. I think the thing that put it above the vampire song was that performance on Showdown Club Pre Premium with the heels. Yeah, that was very good. Number seven is Dreamcatcher. Is this song about sex? I think this is a sex song. I don't really like the way this song, song sounds. Um, it's not really like, it's kind of like when he's trying to do that jazzy, like high singing stuff and it's not, it doesn't, it doesn't feel, I don't feel it. Um, I don't remember the performance for this. I think this is definitely on the 25th, not 25th, oh, oh my god, um, the 10th anniversary DVD, but I haven't watched that in a while and I just don't have any idea of what a performance for this song um, is. I always forget that this song exists. Um, I just, it's not my favorite. It's, it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> Number six is Escort and I don't know what Shige was trying to do with this, with his voice in this song, but I don't like it. I think Shige struggles with kind of finding where he wants to sing, like what kind of pitch or what kind of tone that he wants to have when he sings, and this like super high sort of voice like doesn't really work for me and I don't think it works for him very well. I do like the lyrics of the song, it's kind of just like, I can't really describe um, the the lyrics of the song, but um, I liked his idea, like the the uh, music video that he directed for it, uh, which is also like weird, um, but it's kind of like, I think it's more like a self-confidence sort of thing. So I really like that. Um, I kind of like Shige's story of like self-confidence um, as he's grown up and grown into the idol that he is today. Um, so I appreciate Escort for the message that it sends, but um, I'm just not a huge fan of the song. Number five is Ho Yong, which is from, what is this from? Um, I think this is from F. Katia. Um, this song, the lyrics are really nice for this song. It has like a really like, it feels like a grown up adult version of Cacao, like just like musically wise. Um, it has like a really cool, it's like where Shige does the jazzy song thing, but he does it right. If uh, that makes any sense. I feel like, I think he made up the kanji for this song and um, which is, which is, I guess, cool. <laughs> it's one of those more like pretentious Shige moments, but I also love him for that. Um, so yeah, the, I like the jazzy feel of this one more than his other sort of like jazzy songs. I think he did it right in this one. So I appreciate this song for that. Performance in Epcotia was really good too with like the lights and stuff. That was really good. I really liked that. Number four is Hoshino Ojisan. And so this is the Little Prince song. I think this song is like based off of the Little Prince. And this song gets stuck in my head all of the time. I love the performance of it. The suit that he wears, that white pinstripe suit, very good. Um, I like the performance of it um, in the concert. And this is in um, Quartetto. And I don't know, it's, this song is very fun and I generally like more fun songs. Um, you can kind of tell with the way that this is going that um, probably I like songs that are more upbeat than um, the kind of slower jazzy sort of songs, but Hoshino Oji-san is so good. It gets stuck in my head all of the time and it's just like the dance is so good and I just, I don't know, I really like this one. It's really cute and um, I really, really enjoy it. Number three is Ayame. So this song is goddamn beautiful. <laughs> Everybody, I think, thinks this song is about like the LGBTQ uh, plus community, but Shige's kind of like avoided that and been like, oh no, it's about all types of love. And so he hasn't really said it outright, but I think you can really tell that that's what it's about and that's what everybody thinks that it's about. Kind of gives me some ideas about she gave, but we're not gonna go into that. Talk to me on Twitter about that. This song is like beautiful. The performance is like so good. Um, the dance is really good. I just, it just like, it feels like such a sad song, but also like a little bit hopeful. I don't know. It just conveys a lot of emotions and I really, really love it. It's absolutely beautiful. I love it. Thank you very much, She Gay. This is like why Neverland is so good because it has Ayame in it. Number two, then we've got the old solos. You know, you know where my heart lies. Number two is Happy Music. And for the longest time, Happy Music was my number one favorite Shige solo forever. Like, I pretty much cried 
when they released it on the best album because I'd only seen, um, oh, there was one performance on a DVD. I can't remember which one it was. Um, it might have been, it wasn't Diamond. It was the one before that. It's on Live, 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 um, which, right? I think it's on Live, Live, Live. But anyway, um, it's, <sighs> I love I love happy music so much. The lyrics are so good. It's like a fun, like punk, punk rock song, um, and just like the lyrics, like "I wanna be your sound," like I don't know, that just hit me and like my twenty-year-old self when I heard this. This is on the best album, and I like, like screamed because I'd been in love with this song so much that finally we're gonna have an actual recorded version. I didn't think this was ever gonna happen. So it was a very big moment for me. My love for the song goes this very, very deep. I've been, this is my favorite song of Shige's for a very, very long time. It makes me feel a lot of things. It's a very, very sweet love song, which is with this kind of like fun, um, like rock upbeat twist and I love it so very much. You all, you know what it is now. My number one favorite Shige solo, and that's Shalala Tambourine. I have feelings about this song. Number one, it's so much fun. Like, it's so upbeat and happy and fun, and the lyrics are so, so good. They're, they're just like, it's just pure, like, happy love song. I'm so in love with you that I will like play this music forever and that's what I like. It's kind of got the same sort of theme um, that happy music does which is kind of I think why I love the lyrics so much is because they're very similar um, but it's just <sighs> I want to cry because it's so good. I sang this at karaoke in Japan and I did cry and I think everybody around me was like why is she crying um, but yeah I love this song it's so like if I need like a pick me up this is the song I listen to because it is it definitely brightens your mood it makes you feel good about the world it's I could talk about this forever but um there are a few other things about this song number one the performance on the dvd is terrible so I don't know what it is but on the cd this song is like loud and the background music is really like it's really loud and fun and upbeat but then like on the dvd it's just like nothing and I don't understand why it's like that I feel like there's so much power to this song and the performance on the dvd is just like flat it's not good I think Shige had a hard time performing this song for some reason. I don't know. Um, but there was also the, the incident where um, he drops the microphone and breaks it and then has to sing the rest of it um, just like yelling. <laughs> um, which is very sad and it's like, I think it's an embarrassing moment for Shige. But he did such a good job with it. Um, um, but yeah, the performance on the DVD is not my favorite. Um, but the thing that really shines about this song is the music video. <sighs> so this is the greatest music video to ever exist. So it's basically just, if you haven't seen it, I think it's on the Diamond DVD or I think, yeah, I think it's on the Diamond DVD, but, um, he dresses up as different sorts of characters that would go to karaoke. So there's like the the like salary man and like the otaku and like the metal dude and <laughs> the high school girl. <sighs> it's so much fun. It's such a happy, fun music video that I love very, very much. Um, and just everything about Shalala Tamarine is just, I feel like it doesn't get as much love because the performance on the DVD is so weak and people forget that it's a really good song and that the music video for it is really really good um so yeah please give more recognition to Shalala Tambourine and if you are in the Tambourine fan club please talk to me <laughs> um but yeah so that is my Shige solo ranking I'm thinking so Sekai we don't have the DVD yet but I've seen pictures of the uh, performance and heard reports and the second the song came out um and I heard it I was like please god 
let Shige play the guitar while he performs this. This is the only thing I want in the world. And he plays the goddamn guitar when he performs it. Yeah, I can't wait to see it. So I'm thinking probably Sekai maybe would go, mm, maybe into number four. So between like Ayame and Hoshino Ojisan, depends on how good the performance is. Um, but yeah, Sekai is, Sekai is really good. Um, so yeah. That's probably about where I would put it, but the jury's still out um, until we get the World Insta DVD eventually, probably next year. Um, so yeah, that is my Shige solo ranking. If uh, Let me know in the comments what your favorite Shige solo is. Um, I'd be interested to know. I feel like I'm in the minor minority with liking Shalala Tambourine. I think most people like Ayame the best. So um, I think my tastes are a little bit old just because I've been around for so goddamn long. Okay, so... Um, yeah, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more Johnny's related content from me. Hopefully I'll have some more like CD reviews uh, and things like that coming up soon. Um, I also like making these fun like ranking videos too. That's, I really like doing that. So if you have any ideas for like, you want to hear my rankings on certain things like DVDs or albums or something like that, I did a singles ranking before, so. Um, but yeah. Um, I guess I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.